I drive a 1986 Mazda RX-7 GXL. It started with all of my friends, really. I know nothing about cars. So we originally ended up working on a few projects at university on converting electric and hybrid cars. So once we all got out, um, we kind of started doing that. I'm a big fan of 80s style cars, you know, Knight Rider, Airwolf. I'm a child of the 80s, so all of my friends are also fairly, you know, into the 80s. They like Initial E, they like Manga Midnight, at least for the more anime oriented ones. Like I said, I grew up with Knight Rider and Airwolf and Battlestar Galactica. Um, so for me, it was always going to be an 80s car. It was either going to be a Firebird, it was going to be a Supra, or it was going to be an RX-7. It's my baby, it's my prototype, it's my showpiece, it's a statement of what we can do without being prompted. So it's, it's basically a bunch of guys getting together, building something absolutely crazy because we can. That's what engineers do. Um, the first thing we did was we we tried in vain to fix the rotary when we got it. Uh, unfortunately, it was beyond our ability to save. Um, then we decided to do an electric conversion. Uh, that stage took us about three months. Uh, basic uh, direct current, electric drive, battery pack, control systems, got it running, got it driving. Uh, we swapped out the rear end because we had more torque than God himself. Um, and then we decided that electric cars are nice, but we want to do something different. We want something more usable. So we decided to add a hybrid system. Oh, everything from, everything from driveline issues to uh, the clutch slipping to wiring and electrical issues, fuel issues everything under the sun. Yeah, I mean, if if you are a casual driver, you just want a daily that's reliable, that work, and you don't want to do much to your car, I would not recommend doing this. The benefits really are only there for someone who's really interested in doing something like this, to have someone something unique, um, and someone who's willing and capable of actually doing the maintenance and taking care of the car. It's not something for your average driver. Not yet. On the, taking the risk of sounding cliche, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, my parents, faculty members at the university who helped us, my co-workers who have spent time and effort and sometimes even money out of their own pockets to help with this build. Um, it's been it's been a hell of a road so there's a lot of people to name there basically all of them for this car it's pretty much done we just wrapped up wrapped up final testing uh, on the dyno and range so now we get to uh, basically street testing uh, we've started part of that on track so it's it's held together on autocross it's held together on track um, and now we just need to put it out on the road and run it and see how it does. It's been a fun build, it's been a stressful build, and it's been blood, sweat and tears, just pretty much like any other build. You can find us on Instagram at, at ERD Engineering, that's the letters E, R and D, Echo, Romeo, Delta, engineer, and the word engineering. Um, the website is tinyurl.com slash erdeng and yeah, you can find us there.